welcome to this episode of the Rogers Radio Podcast. I am your host, Alyssa Rogers. We are at Little Lady Boutique, and I'm not going to introduce this amazing woman I have standing next to me because I want her to because she's full of energy, and I want you to get to know her. This store is amazing, and we're going to learn all about it today. Thanks for being here. Of course, of course. Thanks for having me. Um, So my name is Stacia. I am the Little Lady at Little Lady Boutique. Um, I started this boutique in 2019 based off of COVID and just being, you know, Mm -hmm. bored and not having anything (laughs) to do. Um, And I found some pretty nice clothes. So then after that, um, my mom, who's pretty plus, that's what we call our plus size girls here. (laughs) Um, I started ordering plus size clothes and it just went up from there where I did pop up shops. I mean, I did um, Facebook lives. Then it got to where people would message me and say, hey, can I come try this on like at your house? And I'm like, Sure. (laughs) And then it was like, okay, I have a random person in my bathroom trying on clothes. Like, is this my sign to open up a storefront? And it kind of just ventured from there. (laughs) Yes. Well, your storefront is so amazing. And then you walk in. We walked in today. Shania Twain is playing. Oh, yes. I'm a country girl. (laughs) Yes. And the store is immaculate. The cutest things. I Okay. We have never met before. And I walked in and I wasn't even going to you first because I was looking around at everything I want to buy. And I mean, tell us about, it's fall now. Yes. And there are so many cute trends for fall. What are you seeing most of right now? Um, most of right now, the shades of green are still in. Mm-hmm. Um, and then also rompers. Look at this. Yes, I know. Right on point. <laughs> rompers and jumpsuits are definitely in. One, because it's like a one time this thing. You don't everything. have to worry about like a top and then what are you going to put on for your bottoms. Mm-hmm. And it's a good transitional piece because you can also wear it in the spring and in the fall. Put a turtleneck on, put a tank top on. Simple. Yes. <laughs> and so you started in your home yes. and it took off. And so you started this. You know, how did you find your space and how did you say, okay, I'm going to do this? and boss up, like you said earlier, (laughs) and make this dream a reality. I kind of feel like it was just meant to be. I didn't really search for anything. Everything just kind of came to me, and I just took my time, didn't rush anything. Because I feel like once you start rushing, it gets to be like a headache, you get stressed out. Mm -hmm. Just let things happen naturally. Mm, And networking. Networking is the best thing. And I'm big on that, and I feel like you should build your community. And it's okay to shop at other small stores. I think it's important to keep our dollar local. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that I don't have, I don't mind referring you to the boutique down the street. Mm -hmm. And I feel like we should do the same. I have a boutique bestie and we do that all the time. Yes. Cute. I love that. And then, you know, you can kind of feed off of each other and see what's working, what's not. Yes. So I love that because so many people go into business and they say, oh, I'm going to beat the competition and I don't want anything to do with them. And sometimes it gets nasty. Yes. I think everything everything doesn't have to be a competition. Absolutely. There's room for all of us. Yes. I say all the time, I saw this on social media one time about the bread store or the uh, the bread aisle at a grocery store. Oh, yes. And how there's so many brands (laughs) and they're all still there. There's a whole aisle. Yes. And people get what they want. (laughs) And so there's room for all of us. Yes. I think that's definitely true. Yes. And so I love your boutique bestie. Thank you. And um, so I'm always interested in this part of having a boutique because I feel like I would want one of everything. So um, how do you go shopping for the store and say, okay, this is what I'm going to fill the store with and know what people want? How do you do that? Um, I ask my customers. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the first thing. Like I ask them, what are you looking for? Or what type of shoes do you like? And asking a variety of people helps because mm-hmm. you can have a variety of things in your store and mm-hmm. have more to offer. So, mm-hmm. And I like to be heard. Like when I go in a restaurant, I like for someone to yes. listen to me. So I feel like it's the same. It should be that way in any business, listening mm-hmm. to your clients. And something that I love so much that we talked about before we started filming is you don't put separate sections for your customers. Yes. Take us through that. Yes. So one of the main reasons why I don't do that is because I don't want to single anyone out. Mm -hmm. Like you go in a store and then you can tell that they're looking for big and tall and you say, oh, big and tall sections Mm -hmm. over there. 
a plus size section is over there. No, I feel like everything should be equal. So I mix all of the sizes in and you I just go from there. I think that's amazing because literally you can come in here <laughs> and shop for anything and you said it's extra small to 5X? Yes. Everything. So there's something for everyone. I think it's an amazing way to feel, make everyone feel included. And yes, so, definitely. <laughs> great job on that. Thank you. <laughs> and so someone walks in here and they have never been here before. What can they expect? So first, I, first off, I greet them. I tell them, welcome to Little Lady Boutique. And I want to know, like, is this your first time coming in? Most times I already know because yeah. I have, like, familiar faces. Yeah. So then I want to know, oh, well, how did you hear about us? Kind of like having conversation while they, they, they shop. Um, and I feel like that forms a bond, like a friendship bond. Like, I have customers that come in just from buying one thing, and they just want to come in and chat, and mm -hmm. that's totally fine, mm -hmm. because you never know if somebody doesn't have a friend or doesn't, you know, get out as often, and I feel like I want this to be a safe space where they can come in and still chat and get some little goodies. <laughs> yeah, because it can be overwhelming, and, you know, you don't feel like you look good in certain things, or certain colors yes, aren't your thing, yes. and so you're scared to try it on, mm -hmm. or you've been told that a certain pattern isn't for your body type. Right. And we were kind of talking about that. And I mm -hmm. think it's so amazing because you're able to pull things. Yes. And I encourage everyone to just poke it out. Try it on. If you've mm -hmm. never worn flare jeans, try it on. And I'm like, come out and show me. And I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've told some customers, like, maybe we should try another route, yeah. you know, or that looks great. And they always step outside of their comfort zone. And I feel like that's what confidence, it builds confidence, and especially in women, because I feel mm -hmm. like over the years, we've kind of been taught to kind of, you know, sit back in the crowd, but that's yeah. not now. <laughs> not at all. And so speaking on that, because you just recently celebrated your one year anniversary yes. being in here, right? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I, we have a lot of people that watch and listen every week that may be thinking of starting a business or wanting to venture out to do something yes. new and they just haven't done it yet. So what advice do you have for anyone sitting at home oh, right now man. wanting to I, make a move? I would definitely say do it. Do it scared. If you're yeah. scared, just do it. Mm -hmm. And that way I feel like whether you fail you still have that accomplishment that you tried it, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. And don't be afraid to ask people questions. Like, it is okay. Everything shouldn't be, I guess, hidden, right. you know? And and that you don't, just because you're starting a boutique doesn't mean you have to ask a boutique person questions. You may have the same thing in common that someone that's starting, I don't know, landscaping. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I feel like definitely, again, networking helps with that and just do it scared. Step out of your comfort it's, zone yes, and do it. So many things that I've done, like scared. And then people say, oh, well, you like nailed that. You you had it. And I'm like, I was shaking. Like, <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> and you made it look easy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you are venturing out and adding to your store because you're a mom of boys. Yes. So I have two boys, um, Nolan and Taylor. They're five and, or six and two. Um, and... Pretty much, I realized with going into local stores that it's like rows and rows and rows of girls' clothes. Then you have your one little section of boys that's full of dinosaurs, tractors, trucks, which is nothing wrong with that, but I feel like they need a little more. They need to be trendy <laughs> yes, and styling. Yes, so in mid-October, we are opening Little Gents. Um, which will be an urban style boys clothing. So I'm like, super excited about that. And it'll be boys clothing from um, newborn to boys extra large. Oh my gosh. Can we get a sneak peek of it yes. today? Okay, yes. we will. Yes, We're going to get a sneak peek of this because I looked in that room and it is so <laughs> cute. I mean, your boys, if you have little boys, they are going to be styling <laughs> with, with what she has coming up in there. And so that's mid-October. Yes. But you have a really cool event coming up in about a week and a half. Yes. And I want you to tell everyone about it. Okay, so that one, we are having our Ladies Fest. Um, it's going to be October the 4th, which is a Friday at 6 p.m. Um, so, you know, when you kind of get off work, you can 
run by and see the new fall line that yeah. we have. Um, we'll actually have food here too, so you can snack on that. And my favorite so far <laughs> is the Ladybucks, which is what we call our gift cards. So we'll be doing a raffle to give away $100 Ladybucks. Oh, you don't want to miss that. <laughs> yes. You do not want to miss that. Food, shopping, Ladybucks. I mean, come on. All the new <laughs> fall stuff. And perfect yes. to start the weekend. Yes, definitely. And there are so many events that happen on the weekends in October. They can just come here, get all their outfits mm -hmm. they need for all the fun things. Yes, definitely. Pumpkin patch, because you know you got to have your pumpkin patch outfit. You have to have the pumpkin <laughs> patch outfit. And you're probably going to go more than one time, so you need to. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It is so true for that Instagram moment. Yes. You have to have it. Uh, and so where can everyone find you? So um, if you are a Danville native, then you are familiar with Haymore's. Um, so I am right across from Haymore's Garden Center, right across the street. It used to be the home of um, the Mount Hermon Courtyard and the Mount Hermon Elementary School, which is now Mount Hermon Plaza. So that's 2725 Franklin Turnpike, Sweet C. <laughs> Yay! And what are your hours of operation? Um, Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 5, and Saturday, 11 to 4. Okay, so you can come and get yourself during the week and on Saturdays. And then you're on Facebook and... Yes. Are you on Instagram? I am. It's Little Lady Boutique VA on okay. Instagram, and Facebook is just Little Lady Boutique. Yes, mm -hmm. and so you are putting updates on everything coming in yes, and yes, very active on there. And definitely so, follow our social media. <laughs> yes, and we have it all linked in the description, so be sure to go follow and attend the event coming up on the 4th because it's going to be really fantastic. And, I mean, these are pieces that you can't find everywhere. Yes. And so it's just really, really amazing. Hidden gem. Not anymore, though, because <laughs> you are going to be very busy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> yes. And, I mean, thank you for having us here today. Of and, course. And, you know, I just wish you more years of success. <laughs> you. And you are just so fabulous. And, you know, thanks for letting everyone <laughs> see into this yes. amazing place. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you, everyone, for watching and listening to this episode of the Rogers Radio Podcast. Be sure to like, review, subscribe, do all of the things you're already doing, and we will talk to you next week. Bye! <laughs>